What is autism? Autism Spectrum Disorder or ASD as defined by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual 5th edition of the American Psychiatric Association or DSM-5 is a neurological developmental disorder associated with symptoms that include persistent deficits in social communication and social interaction across multiple contexts and restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest, or activities. The DSM-5 gives examples of these two broad categories. Persistent deficits in social communication and social interaction across multiple contexts as manifested by the following currently or by history. Deficits in social emotional reciprocity ranging, for example, from abnormal social approach and failure of normal back and forth communication to reduced sharing of interest, emotions, or affect to failure to initiate or respond to social interactions. Deficits in nonverbal communicative behaviors used for social interaction ranging, for example, from poorly integrated verbal and nonverbal communication to abnormalities in eye contact and body language or deficits in understanding and use of gestures to a total lack of facial expressions and nonverbal communication. Deficits in developing, maintaining, and understand relationships ranging, for example, from difficulties adjusting behavior to suit various social contexts to difficulties in sharing imaginative play or in making friends to absence of interest in peers. Restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest, or activities as manifested by at least two of the following currently or by history. Stereotype or repetitive motor movements, use of objects or speech, for example, simple motor stereotypes, lining up toys, flipping objects, or idiosyncratic phrases, insistence on sameness and flexible adherence to routines or ritualized patterns of verbal or nonverbal behavior, for example, extreme distress at small changes, difficulties with transitions, rigid thinking patterns, greeting rituals, need to take same route or eat same food every day. Highly restricted, fixated interests that are abnormal in intensity or focus, for example, strong attachment to or preoccupation with unusual objects, and excessive circumscribed interest, hyper or hyperactivity to sensory input or unusual interest in sensory aspects of the environment, for example, apparent indifference to pain or temperature, adverse response to specific sounds or textures, excessive smelling or touching of objects, Visual fascination with lights or movement. These symptoms result from underlying challenges in a child's ability to take in the world through their senses and to use their body and thoughts to respond to it. When these challenges are significant, they interfere with a child's ability to grow and learn and may lead to a diagnosis of autism. Autism is not a behavioral disorder. Many parents are told autism is a behavioral disorder based on challenges in behavior. While children with autism do display behaviors that can be confusing, concerning, and even disruptive, the basis of these behaviors is a neurodevelopmental difference. Understanding autism based on behaviors is superficial at best. The behavioral perspective has dominated the airwaves for the past 15 years and applied behavioral analysis, ABA, has become the most known intervention for autism as a result. However, clinical practice and research are creating a paradigm shift to more fully understand autism from a neurological developmental perspective rather than simply behaviorally. Understanding Autism when the challenges of autism are understood and appropriately addressed, and the autistic individual is accepted for who they are, their potential is no less than a neurotypical person. Too many professionals look at autism as something that needs to be controlled and contained. However, we should look at autism as a neurodiversity that needs to be understood and the person needs to be supported in the right way. Once understood, then the person's potential can be realized. There are aspects of autism that are disabling and very challenging. 
Nevertheless, seeking to understand the neurodevelopmental differences in an effort to promote growth and development can help the autistic individual reach their potential while addressing the disabling aspects.